Charlie, how are you today? Good. How are you? I love your background. You got Thank a lot you. of good, a lot of good things going on there. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> Halloween was my the movie that got me into movies. Period. So, like, I, I'm as you can tell, I'm a fan of stuff. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what the funny thing is? I'm watching this movie, and I'm watching... The, the. I was like, this is a really interesting idea, and it's a cool idea to see this kind of talent all gather together. And you guys did this... You Basically, the pandemic kind of kind of yeah. brought this on. Yeah. That's kind of a weird thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was, you know, a result of... Uh, that a lot of artists... Well, a lot of people felt, but especially people in art, where it's like... I'm used to being creative. I'm used to putting it in a space and now everything's shut down. And not only am I terrified because there's a global pandemic, but also um, there's no outlet for creativity. And, and so I think this film was a result of uh, a, honestly a group of friends getting together to be creative, to, uh, challenge ourselves and and figure out what story we want to tell in this particular moment. And so I think the idea of telling a story about feeling, you know, imprisoned to your own space, a place that was once felt safe always, you could always go back to your space and feel safe. Um, this idea that you're going through so many different emotions um, that was really interesting, you know, to, to set it in one location and, and then have the location dictate what happens and what these characters are doing. Um, and that's how we wrote it. We kind of started with a location and then reverse engineered this whole story to, to fit this space. And you shot it in sequence. Yeah, we did. That's crazy. I mean, that just doesn't yeah. happen nowadays. Yeah, it, it's going to be hard to to not do that now, honestly. It, it, after doing it like that, I was like, how do people make movies where they shoot out of order? <laughs> like, because it was, um, I think with this particular film too, we're, we're tracking scene by scene where these characters are going and how they relate and connect or disconnect with each other. And I feel like if we had shot it out of order, we would have had no idea that, that these moments that kind of came up, uh, you know, they just wouldn't have existed. And, and so, yeah, it, it was a really special way, I think, to make this film and also, you know, a sort of nod to, um, I think, theater and, and how one would rehearse a play and, and really deconstruct character. And, and a lot of time was, was spent, I think, almost in, in a theatrical way, piecing this together and figuring out you know, who these characters are and, and how they relate with each other. Yeah, I feel like that would be a great, especially a great tool for actors because you kind of get to experience the characters and then grow. And, and as you, you as a director can lead them through that, that's amazing. Yeah, and I think because of how we made this film, it's a, it's a small independent film, really small crew. There's not, you know, people in suits walking around sitting at a monitor we barely even had a monitor it, it's really just me there and, and so I think the 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 safety of okay I'm doing this for my friends I'm 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 collaborating with other creative people like there there was no failing for us it was all just okay here's an idea well, here's a better idea. Oh, what? Let's go back to that idea. You know, it, it was it was a lot like that when we were shooting. And now we're gonna see this on Netflix. That's that's kind of amazing. <laughs> in, in your in your own space, you know, yeah. it, it's kind of the perfect home for it. And that it, it, that's the idea started in that way of of how to make a movie and what it represents. And then and then now cut to two years later in a pandemic, hopefully we're, we're at the tail end of it, but to watch it in your own home after going through so many different emotions is such a, a great way to watch it. Yeah. And unfortunately we got a wrap, but it, dude, it was, a, it was a pleasure talking. You too, man. Really nice to meet you. Yeah. Same, same. Cheers, man. You too. Just this place is. This guy breaks into my house. Holy! 
and you just sit down on the couch. Okay, but how about you, you let go of my wife first? And I've had to hold his hand. How does this open? Is there a trick to the purse? No. There's a clasp. And help him rob us. I want $150,000. Do you think that's enough? Yeah, I think you're probably going to want more than that. I can get you the money tomorrow. But what? Me. I owe you something, right? You owe a debt to a hell of a lot more people than just me. Try being a rich white guy these days. It sucks. <laughs> Do you want to be me? Is that it? You're pathetic. I don't think you're going to do anything. Ever. We need to get close to him. Hey, do whatever it takes, that's it. Your life is picture perfect. Picture perfect. Nothing feels fair. You have everything and I have nothing. Whoa. did something that jeopardized me. Get into the office right now! I didn't take anything that wasn't mine! You're not a killer. What you think you have to do next. Please don't cross that line. It's gonna be a long night.